The scorching temperatures will continue this weekend as Met Office warnings remain and temperatures continue to peak well above 30 degrees in large parts of the country. The now Mediterranean-style landscape and Caribbean levels of heat mean the risk of fire remains heightened. This, a grass fire in Raynham in Essex. Chris Sparks from Hampshire doesn't know how the fire started in his yard. Oh, right, so it spread all through the roof. Yeah. And then... Good God. But soon it had devoured a bedroom wall and then his roof. It's like charcoal has kind of rained down on your living room. We, we, well, yeah, because what's happened is because it was so hot, it was just literally falling down. The whole house is destroyed, timber frames charred, shoes melted, as is the television. Yesterday, a tractor caught fire here in Codford in Wiltshire. Fire risk is another setback in a difficult summer for farmers. It's the emotional effect and it's the stress and it's, it's also the danger to, 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 to human life. And uh, our, our staff are very dedicated and they're very keen to fight the fires and sometimes we, we have to tell them to ease off a bit because I'd much rather have a fire than a staff injury. With some areas of the country not receiving significant rainfall all summer, the National Drought Group declared an official drought in eight of its 14 areas of the country. It means more hosepipe bans and residents and businesses being asked to conserve water. The important thing is that the water supply remains resilient uh, for this year. There's no, uh, no real issue there. And these are precautionary steps that are being taken to ensure that we're taking care of our water resources in case we get a dry winter and then run into potential problems next year. People here at the Flower Pots pub in Hampshire say they do what they can. When you've got a garden, you put quite a lot of money into it and it's all shrubs and you're sitting there with one watering can. But what I have been using is old washing up water. Anything at all is going into the garden at the moment. It's tough. I'm trying to be a bit more environmentally friendly. Obviously, wear the hosepipe ban, not using water, having showers, not using bath. In the West Yorkshire Pennines, a usually submerged Norse village has partially reappeared. This centuries-old packhorse bridge now stands as a worrying low watermark in what should be an abundant reservoir. It's just another oddity in the new landscape created by this extraordinary heatwave. Jason Farrell, Sky News.